24 years ago, somewhere in Vietnam, a child is born. Determined to make her parents proud, she moves to America to join the film industry, if you catch my drift. And coincidentally, she moves to Studio City, California, the same place that legendary YouTuber, six foot five, 245 pound MMG was living at the time. And on one cool morning, she decided to walk her dog, but little did she know that would change the trajectory of her life forever. Around the corner came MMG and he was on the prowl. He could smell the ramen from a mile away, went straight up to her and proceeded to get her number, asked her on a date even. Who was this girl you asked? It was Venus Sky. No! Now that story up till now is a story that many of you already know, but there's one detail that I left out. Two days after the first encounter, they went on a date and cheeks were clapped. <laughs> yeah, boy. And two months after that fateful encounter, I received a text. And that's when I remembered something. I remembered the story of Matt Maher III, the legendary wide receiver Super Bowl champion, whose father left the house when he was two. Now every part of me wanted to leave this Wajian child abandoned, but I know what it was like for Matt Maher III growing up with a single mother, a broken home. For that reason, I fought for full custody of my child. And in a shocking turn of events, the courts ruled in my favor. Fast forward 18 years and that child is ready to play college football. Gentlemen, this is the career of five-star cornerback, Matthew Sky. Now, naturally, I'm going to be number three. Even though I am Matthew Sky, I'm still going to, I'm going to keep to the lineage and be number three. Not going to lie, it's low-key hard to make your guy look good and Asian in this game, but I'm trying my best. All right, I finally have a, a Giga Chad Asian build, but uh, <laughs> there's literally like only one Asian hairstyle. It's this samurai bun. It's, it's low-key racist, but I'm low-key racist, so shit. I just want to stick like two little chopsticks in there. You know? Now I chose to be a zone corner. This is the only corner that lets you max out the quickness stat. I want to go 99 speed, 99 excel. So I'm cool with that. 78 overall, six foot one, 192 pounds. Matthew Sky, the five-star corner, is getting ready to make his college decision. We've got five potential abilities here. There's knockout, layout, house call, ball hawk, and bouncer. Our mentals are Legion, fan favorite, road dog, and clear-headed. And now it's time to pick a college. Now, keep in mind a few things. We're a five-star, number one, so a lot of teams like us. But also, this is the corner position. It doesn't even matter if we're corner one or corner two. So long as we're one of those two, we're pretty much going to be on the field the entire time. Right out the gates, it looks like Tennessee is interested. What is Tennessee's average SAT score? 1235? What are we, stupid? Look, I know Venus Sky's not in my life anymore, but my Asian ancestors will disown me. I'm never gonna make it to the afterlife. I don't know if there's an afterlife. I don't know any Asian thing. It, do they have that in Buddhism? Is there an afterlife in Buddhism? Yes, Buddhism teaches that there is an afterlife in the form of a cycle of rebirth called samsara. You think if I went to bum-ass Tennessee with a bunch of idiots that I'm gonna get samsara? I mean, this is the conscientiousness continuing after death and can be re reborn into another life. It's the ultimate goal of Buddhism is to break free from samsara and achieve nirvana and end to suffering. It's my first time being Asian, guys. I, just let me have it. Just let me let me learn. Here's a few other um, things that I know. China produces 45 billion pairs of chopsticks every year. The name Hong Kong is believed to be derived from the Cantonese uh, Huang Gung, which phonetically translates as Fragrant Harbor. Who gives a fuck? All right, let's find a better program. Average SAT score, Rice. The average SAT score composite at Rice University is 1530. Holy shit, these guys are fucking nerds. Matthew Sky is committed to the Rice Owls. Let's go. Now, taking a look at this program, looks like our best player is Dean Connors, a running back. Uh, I'm corner two behind Sean Fresh. And frankly, I'm ready to kick this season off, man. Now, as far as upgrading my stats, we start out with really good base stats. Like I'm already a pretty solid corner. It's gonna be really expensive to upgrade quickness. We already have 88 speed, 88 acceleration though. So for now, I think this is good to go, but 11 skill points will get us up and obviously we can max out quickness all the way to 99. So that's gonna be really fun too. Oh, I can't wait, man. This is gonna be fun. Now I will say last time I did middle linebacker road to glory, it was really hard to figure out the perfect settings to make this work. So I think this season, might be a learning curve to being impactful, getting enough minutes, 
getting subbed out, but I'm excited to learn. Let's kick off this season with game one against the FCS Midwest Coyotes. Also want to give a massive shout out to Huel for sponsoring today's video and making my life a whole lot easier. So Huel is no prep meals that don't compromise your health. It's ideal for when you're pressured for time, on the go, in a rush, whatever, but you don't want to go get fast food, which is of course really bad for you. All you need is some cold water and of course, Huel itself, and you have a convenient and nourishing meal in seconds. My personal favorite is Huel's Black Edition. That's this right here. This is a low carb, high protein powdered meal. Huel products are designed by nutritionists and dietitians to give your body everything it needs in an extremely easy and convenient way. Right now I have Huel Black in the vanilla flavor. Chocolate's really good too, but I like vanilla the best. So if you want to save money, save time, and eat healthy, use code MMGHUEL for 15% off your first Huel order, plus a free t-shirt and shaker of $40 value. That's code MMGHUEL for 15% off your first order. There's a link in the top of the description. Having a busy life shouldn't stop you from eating healthy, so check out Huel today. Dude, I hate to admit it, but it's actually a lot easier to play on this camera angle. Oh, oh, Matt, why would you say such a thing when you just got dotted? It's honestly though, like it still is easier to play on this camera angle. It's just it's so much less immersive, you know? It's just so much sicker to be sitting like this. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Like it's kind of hard to see runs developing or runs setting up when you're on that camera angle. Whereas on the other one, I could see the whole field, you know? Low key, I wish there was a camera angle like this that just showed you a little more of the field. I guess I could do this. I can hold LT. Oh no, but when the ball gets snapped, I lose it. Oh, it's a reverse. Good block. Good block by that DB. See what I mean? Like, I can't see that setting up. Although, I guess that's accurate to how a real-life DB would be seeing it. Here we go. Third and one. I'm manned up on 10. Find him, Dilworth. No, don't actually find him. Bob! Come on! Oh, he fumbled. Did he fumble? All right, that might have been the worst man coverage of all time, but I hit the shit out of that man. I rocked his world. Dude, it's 10 to 10. I'm rocking 10-minute quarters. It's already halftime. What is going on? You just can't get reps. Hand off, hand off, hand off, hand off, hand off! No! Oh my God, I just shot the gap like prime Troy Palomalu and I got nothing to show for it. I'm gonna do it again. Second to 10, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, it's a play action. Shit, get back, oh! It's a pick! Rice interception. Low-key pissed I didn't get my TFL on that gap shot, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, we're involved today. We're involved in this game. We got a light blue here. Is this another reverse? Is this a screen pass? Oh, it's a, it's a slip screen. It's missed though, and I get great zone coverage. You're welcome, coach. You are welcome. All right, we're baiting. We're baiting, right? See, I've got that man over there. I'm playing deep inside. It's a QB keeper on a read option. He's going nowhere. Come on, let me see a pass. You gotta pass this. All right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have everyone press cover. We've got a blitz. I'm just gonna leave him. They're gonna think he's open. Shit. Fourth and one. It's honestly good defense. It's 24 to 10, taking another commanding lead. I feel like they've got to pass the football, no? I mean, I guess they don't! Come on! Ni hao, buddy! You like that? Oh, I wanted a fumble so bad. Damn! I'm more of a safety than a corner. All right, they're gonna motion one into the backfield. He's gonna come over on that right side. Pump fake. He's going yard! He's going yard! Who's got the ball? Oh my God, I almost intercepted that. Come here, bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't see the safety over the top. I thought I was cooked. Low key though, that ball was underthrown. I think I was gonna get under that if my boy didn't. Could have been the first interception of our career. But dude, these games fly. Look at this. 31 to 10, that is 10 minute quarters. I feel like I, pray, I played like what, 15 snaps maybe? 15 snaps? Oh, well, I mean, Dean Connors had 130 yards and two touchdowns. We chewed the clock on him. Damn. All right, Rice. I see you, Rice. Yeah, I mean, can I look at the defensive stats here and kind of figure out what's going on? Yeah, I mean, the guy with the most tackles only had six tackles. I had three tackles, two TFLs though. When we play a team that's as good as us or better, I think we're gonna be playing a lot more defense. Let's see if that's true because I should have a pretty tough opponent coming up here. By the way, on an unrelated note, Zach Wilson is coming over to watch film with us as well. Hey, Matthew, we're going to a party off campus. Delaney, Delaney watched some Blasian babies. Stop it, Delaney. I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here to hook up. I'm here to study. She wants a little soy sauce in the KFC. 
if you know what I'm saying. Yo, Rice and Houston is a rivalry game? Really? I did not know that. I'm not gonna lie though, it is really tough to come by skill points when I'm not that involved in the game. So with this two energy here, it's pretty obvious that I have to use it on studying. All right, this upcoming game against Houston is gonna be the true test. Our first game on the road, our first game against an opponent that's better than us, and it's a rivalry game. We're gonna rock the classic away uniforms. Let's see what we got, Rice. All right, we started this game out with a field goal. I gotta start, dude, I gotta start scouting these teams. Because I don't really know what I'm going up against right now against Houston. They motion a tight end over. That's a handoff to the running back. He's going to cut it back across. And I'm getting involved. Man coverage. I love man coverage. See, I like man coverage. Damn, I should have been a man corner, huh? I like man coverage because I can bait. I can try and convince him to do something stupid. I feel like it's harder to do that in zone, but I got to give it some time. We're, we're, just, we're just getting set out here. Third and four. What's Houston got? That is a pass. I'm trying to leave my man open, but not too open. Ah, oh, my coverage was simply too good. They found an open man in the middle of the field, and for some reason, coach is pulling me. Why the, Why am I getting pulled? I'm corner two. Who are you putting in for me? I think I need to make some, like, adjustment to substitutions. I swear I've seen it before. There's a way to stop getting subbed out. First and 10, Houston. Play action. Laser. Oh, my God. Was that caught? Oh, it wasn't. Uh-oh. Seven to three, Houston's got the football. Time to lock in. Time to lock in, baby. That's a handoff, big time. Oh, he cuts it back my way. Damn, this running back's got some vision, dude. Second and nine, hot blitz. I'm gonna try and bait this over the top. Play action, please. No, another handoff. Boo! And I'm getting subbed out. I do know there's a way you can go into the sliders and stop getting subbed out. I'm gonna have to do that at the end of this game. Cause it's just, there's not enough reps. Not enough plays. Oh my God. Boom! No! 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 It's like my one play per half. And he just breaks the tackle like I'm some Asian corner. Oh my god. Oh, second and inches. I gotta work on my hip power, bro. Honestly, fuck these stats. I'm working on my hip power. Get off it. Get off it. Damn it. Dude, I'm literally gonna upgrade my hip power to as high as I can go, and that's that's all I'm gonna do. It's just rock, kids. It's 13 to 7, though. We just took a little lead with a nice tutty. All right, first and 10. You can't bait this any harder. God, hand the ball off one more fucking time, you frauds. Come here, bitch! Oh my fucking god, Tito, you don't fucking stop it! Dude, I'm Asian! I'm supposed to, like, calculate the trajectory of the running back and shit, Pythagorean theorem and all that. In my defense, in my middle linebacker career mode, I did that about ten times a game, and in this one, that's my first whiff. That's my first real whiff. I know you're right. Oh, they're not running the football. They just had a touchdown. They just missed the tutty. The far corner decided to blitz. Second and five. Yeah, run the football. I know you're gonna. Frauds. That's what they do. Dude, I'm basically a linebacker. Third and one. Houston, what you got on third and one? Oh, that's a pass. Gets it out quick and it's caught. All right, second and seven. Here we go. Second and seven. Here we go. That's a handoff. Yup. Just making my presence known to Parker Jenkins. He's still averaging eight yards of carry though. Motioning the tight end. Pass. Hand off. Dead. Houston, let's open up the playbook. Yeah? Fourth and two though. That's a good stop by the Rice Owls. Second and 18. Houston. Oh, it's a quarterback keeper. And he'll take third and 12 there. Dude, we got to get the ball bag though so we can score. We're down by one point right now. We need some crucial defensive stops. First and 10, I can tell you what they're running. They're handing the fucking ball off. But you know what? I'm in there. I'm not getting any tackle assists, but I think coach knows that I'm like, I'm giving my all. That's all I really care about. Come on, throw a fucking heater, Houston. Are you gonna run fucking fake jet sweep inside zone? God, would you open up the playbook? Please, for the love of God, would you open up the playbook, Houston? You're really gonna run the ball for the 30th time today? Is this lore accurate? I don't watch Houston football. Like, is this how they play football? Nice little TFL there, second and 13. I'm manned up on a tight end. I do like this. Manned up on a tight end. Pump fake. Oh, it's a keeper. I almost got got, and that was gonna be my responsibility, but a huge play from 33 just saved me. We got a bunch formation here. Is this a, is this a pass? Oh, it's a little screen pass. Get off your block. What am I spinning for? Honestly, though, that's a stop. Fourth and five. I think they'll settle for the field goal. Let's see if Rice can score. Rice. 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 
No! No, we got all the way down here. What happened? First and 10. Oh, it's big now. We've got three timeouts. They're definitely running the football. Absolutely. Absolutely! Come on! Huge stop. Coach, why are you pulling me? Coach, I'm fucking Troy Palomalu. I'm Troy Palomalu, who doesn't know how to defend passes, but still, third and nine. This, this determines the game right here. If they get this, they can still win this game. Third and nine. I'm baiting. Oh, it's a slip screen. He missed the tackle! Oh no! And now I'm getting subbed out. Dude, EA, EA did not build this properly. Let's just be real. They just did not build this properly at all. Let me see if I can get some free stats by sacking the QB here. <laughs> you get stopped for a loss. Damn! Houston takes us down. I mean, 10 minute quarters feels good, but I have to adjust the sub out sliders. Even with 10 minute quarters on Heisman, I think I had like 20 snaps. That was the best game yet though, no doubt. Our first loss of the season comes to Houston. I just turned fatigue down. Hopefully that keeps me from getting subbed out. I couldn't find any settings for auto subs though. Someone on Reddit said you can do that. I don't believe that. All right, I think this game will be a big test. I set fatigue to zero. 10 minute quarters Heisman. We're taking on Army, who's a worse overall than us by a pretty big margin here. I'm gonna rock the alternates because I think they're gonna look sick with Army's uniforms. And hopefully I can be very impactful today. Ooh, here we go, here we go. I'm excited. There's always some growing pains, especially defensively. Jesus, there's nobody in the crowd. Is this, oh wait, but it's Army though. They're gonna run the football damn near every play. Hey, I guess I'm gonna be a safety today. You know, that does bug me EA. They have like these five preset positions you can play what if i wanted to be a kicker dude i actually remember back in like ncaa oh my god speed option <gasps> that was a fumble to the offensive lineman holy shit dude i remember back in ncaa 14 you could make any position you could be a kicker i don't know why they don't let us do that i mean obviously it's not going to be very immersive like it's probably going to be pretty shitty but at least let us do it right like low-key i think being a strong safety or a free safety would be nasty i think that'd be really fun First and 10, this run game offense from Army is going to be lethal. Although I don't even think I need to, do I need to like play zone coverage at all? Can I just put myself in a Tampa two and become a linebacker? Oh, he stepped up. I'll take that tackle assist though, no? Okay, here's what we do. Every single defense, just run something that gives me a light blue. Ah, it's not a light blue. Up the middle, up the middle, up the middle. I'm a linebacker now, baby. Oh, <laughs> dude, we're all over this, though. See, but if I run man, I'm in trouble. Here we go. I got a cloud. Pitch it. Pitch it. Come here! Fuck! Why does everyone keep bouncing off me? Fuck! I gotta start putting some bib and bop in my diet. I gotta start eating some... What the fuck do Asian people eat? Some ramen or something, man. I need to put on some pounds. I'm getting tossed like a little baby bag bitch. I feel like Mulan right now. I'm playing a bunch of grown men. God, I'm sick of it. I gotta, dude, I gotta get my hit power up. Number one on my radar is hit power. Fuck guarding. This is army. They're not passing. Oh my God, they might be passing. That's fucking draw. Of course it is. Dude, I'm like in the right position. I'm, I feel, I'm there. I'm just not making the play. That's a handoff. It is. Dude, give it up to Rice D-Line, though. Rice D-Line is really holding this flex bone. All right, we know flex bone triple. There are passes out of this, but on third and five, I think they're going to be running it. Oh, shit. Honestly, I thought the quarterback still had that football. That's why you run flex bone, by the way, because you never know who has the football. And it worked on me right there. Same thing here, but this is a handoff. It's first and ten, and it's army. We're all over it. If he hands it off up the middle, I'm not going to be able to make the tackle. So I just need to play for the pitch every time. Dude, what if I could pick a pitch off though? Okay, so right. So we play for the pitch. Beautiful. Beautiful! Not this time! This is a pass. I'm trying to bait out the big one. Throws underneath! Come on! Dude, I want a, I want a fumble so bad. I want it more than I want an interception. All right, first and 10, flex mode. We got to play for the pitch. Play for the pitch every time because we can't stop it up the middle. So let's, oh, wow, that was a nasty play. They sent the motion this way and they brought it back that way. That was nasty. Second and nine, I got man coverage responsibilities. So I'm giving up a touchdown if they don't run this. But if I know Army, they're running this football. Yep. Oh my God. He's loose. It's just me to beat. Come on. Touchdown saving tackle. 
Touchdown saving tackle. I honestly am playing safety. I am playing safety more than I'm playing DB. And I like it that way. This is more engaging. It's second and goal. It's army. They're running the damn football. I got to play the pitch. Oh. See, like, if you're expecting the outside DB to make that tackle up the middle, you already fucked up. You know? Like, that can't be my responsibility. 7-7, seven to seven, Army's putting up a good fight. There's nobody in the audience to see it. But they're putting up a good fight. He gets to the edge. This running back is a dog. All right, back in Flexbone. I have not seen them pass out of Flexbone one single time. Dog, tell this ref to get out my way. Flexbone is nasty. I'm so sick of Flexbone. This is going up the middle. I can just feel it. Hey! My D tackle got the QB. Dude, could I jump the snap so nasty that I just sack him? You think that's possible? Like, if we timed this motion... Did he just... Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my fucking god! What the fuck? That air is gonna be pregnant in six months. Dude, it was... Buddy, I'm doing this! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! I have played like a thousand hours of college football 25 and never in my life have I seen a quarterback go for the fake pitch and then just keep going for it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> This is why we play, gentlemen. This is why we play for moments like that. You know what's really annoying about that, though? Ooh! That wasn't good man coverage, but I knew he had 40 yards to go so I could play that really soft. What's annoying about that is I was about to make that TFL. I was 100% about to make that tackle, and his, like, fake pitch wig out made it so I couldn't, which actually sucks. Like, I was gonna make a really big play there. All right, first and 10. It's seven to seven still. I feel like he's gotta be a handoff. Oh, it's a slip screen. I gotta dive. Oh. The dive mechanics are busted. It like force locked me onto where he, ugh. I have to dive there though, so I can get past the uh, D lineman. Otherwise that, or that O lineman, he'll like bully me. This guy's open. That was out of bounds. Third one, yo, let me move. Why won't, why can't I move? That's so annoying. Oh, dude, it wouldn't let me fucking move. Oh my God. Dude, this whole game just, just glitched out so hard. It doesn't know what to do now. First and 10. Can we jump the snap? Can we do what I was talking about? Ooh. You know, the game did say great zone coverage, despite I just let up a touchdown 100% right there. So, I mean, I don't know. First and 10. Maybe I should stop cheating this so hard. Yep, they're catching on. I repeat, they're catching on! The, the offensive coordinator for Army was like, hey, you know they have nine people in the box, right? Because that corner is, is, uh, is playing like a middle linebacker. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. You know what, fuck it, I'll do it again. Oh shit. I mean, you give the quarterback that much time, is it really my fault? All right, fine, I'll play football. I'll actually guard my man and shit. All right, well that's a run and I'm in on that hit. First and 10 here. It's a quick rollout! It's my ball! Pick six! Pick six! Damn it! Let's go! My first interception of the season! Dude, I thought for sure he was throwing that to the low route. That was like a levels concept. There was a deep out from a tight end and then a drag, and he threw to me. I mean, granted, he threw my way two times prior for two touchdowns, so maybe he was just trying to test me. But the first interception of our career. That's exciting. All right, first and 10. Matthew Sky. You know... I did my responsibility, which was to force the running back inside. Because if he gets around me, he gets a touchdown. You know? First and 10. It's a close game right now, though. 14 to 21. Oh! Yeah, I'm not just a safety now, boy. Now I get interceptions. Although I guess safeties, safeties also get interceptions. All right. Flexbone. 
Flex bone, WB dive, and that is exactly why I need to be the outside man, so that they can't do that. It's my bad. They're not throwing this, right? I don't believe it. Yep. Yup. Yup. Hey, good tackle. Good tackle. All right, they're willing to throw out a flex bone now, though. They've been doing it. Not this time. Quick handoff, third and four. Let's hold them to a field goal. Try and take this lead back. Okay, speed option. QB keeps it. No way, that's a first. First and 10, what do they got? It's not a pass. Got a quick little handoff. The easiest tackle assist of my life, but a tackle assist nonetheless. I'm gonna switch camera angles for this. This is too important. Handoff. Damn. So I'm a deep blue on this right side here. That's a handoff up the middle. Dude, I am getting my helmet and my forearm right on that football. There's gonna be a fumble soon and I'm gonna cough it up. Okay, we gotta run commit. This is, this is going directly up the middle. Gotta be ready, gotta be ready! Let's go! That's a huge play. An army's going for it. An opportunity to take a two possession lead and they're going for it. Fourth and two. Up the middle! Oh. Tell me why we're in a three down lineman fucking... Why are we in a three down lineman set on the goal line against Army? I think we only have a 3-3 defense. Ah! I'm literally a middle linebacker! I'm a better middle linebacker than my middle linebacker ever was! Third and goal! Dude, they, they literally could just throw the football at any time. They could throw a fucking smoke screen to that guy. Dude, this is actually hilarious, though. Dude, our offense is pitiful tonight, though. Pitiful. We are getting outmanned in every category of this game. Rice, you guys suck. You guys suck. Oh. All right. That time, they actually elected to throw it, and he got sacked. So what does it matter? Low key an electric game right now though. Like this is, I am having a lot more fun than I ever had middle linebacker. Oh my God, you guys are pitiful. Dude, Rice's defense is not built to stop the run at all. I think we exclusively run 3-3. Three, three. So like a team like Army is actually kind of our kryptonite. Also just late hit the shit out of the QB. I don't even want to, okay, let's look at these team stats. 49 rushes for 165 yards. We got less yards per pass than that. EJ Warner was 13 for 29. Buddy, get it together. Hey, look at that though. American Defensive Player of the Week, Matthew Scott. What? That cannot be right. How do I get National Defensive Player of the Week for one? I must have gotten a lot of assistant tackles. Holy shit, I had 10 assists. <laughs> Yo, I had 14 tackles? Dude, in, in fairness, I was basically playing middle linebacker against Army, and we did get the INT. That is crazy. I never got National Defensive Player of the Week as middle linebacker. I never got it once. That is so cool, actually. That is awesome. Now listen, I've been talking about hit power. I've been talking about hit power this whole time. It's only four to upgrade it. Let's put a point in power. Let me see where my hit power goes to. Takes it all the way up to 81. 88 jumping, 90 injury, 71 strength. I think my strength is what's stopping some of my hit sticks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this up one higher, but damn, I'm maxed out after that. My power can only go up one more time. I do have an exam in three weeks, but clearly I do need some XP right now. So I think it's only natural that we spend all of our points studying until it's maxed out. And honestly, you can never hit the books enough. So I think I'm gonna put two more point. Oh, it won't even let me. Shit. All right, that, that joke officially ran its course because I, I literally can't put any more points in academics. So we will get some XP. The rest of the season for Matthew Sky continued to get better and better. Learning the ropes, hitting the books, and stringing together some nice wins. By week 13 of the regular season, there was a massive game ahead. And that was the UAB Blazers. So the Blazers are 9-1, and 6-0 and in the American. They're always so good in sim. Now we're 7-3, and three, but two of our losses were not in the American Conference. So we are actually really high in conference standings. Only ECU and UAB are ahead of us, meaning if we beat UAB here, we will play in the American Championship. Now I stockpiled nine skill points naturally. I do want to max out power. I want to rock running backs when they come my way. The highest we can get it is, honestly, it's not that bad. For a corner, 86 hit power, 74 strength is not bad. That leaves us with four skill points left. We could work on hands, zone coverage. None of these look super exciting. What we can actually get is our first ability. 
Knockout gives you improved catch knockouts in coverage. Layout is diving swats and house calls, improved interception attempts. I'm gonna be honest, I've never used any of these. I'm gonna start with house call. Every single time I see like a generational DB in a dynasty, they always have platinum tier house call. I always notice that. So I'm gonna stick to house call. Now I don't know if this operates like Lurk Artist where you like jump higher and shit, but I guess we're gonna find out. Mainly though, we have to beat UAB. We have to beat them. They're in 80 overall, we're a 79. It should be a close matchup. I'm gonna rock the all white away unis. And it's, it's time, we're basically competing for who's gonna make it into the American Championship. That's what this game's about. And let me tell you something, I play a lot of games as UAB's running back, so I should know this playbook like the back of my hand. The Blazers are no joke either. Like they, this is Loki, such a good team. I'm so happy I went to them as a running back. It was one of the best Road to Glory teams I ever played for. They got Zeno at quarterback. They mix up the pass and the run. I don't think they really spam anything. And there's a check down throw to the wide receiver. This is not going to be like playing Army. We're going to be doing a whole lot more than just middle linebacker today. Take a shot on second and short, though, because you know you'll pick it up on third. And there's the handoff. He's coming my way! Fuck. First and ten. What do you want, UAB? It's another handoff to the running back. Dude, this guy's just gashing us. Is that a screen pass? It's wide receiver mid-screen. Damn, I got blocked. I didn't see it quick enough. If I see that quick enough, I can make a huge play on it. Motions the running back over. Pump fakes it and throws it back to the right side, but we were all over that. There goes Rice's defense, making a big stop. Second and 13, definitely a handoff. Bottled up. Now we're catching fire. Two straight TFLs. Big blitz, I'm in man coverage. Let's just stay with our man here. Oh, is he taking a shot at me? What are you doing? You're lucky I didn't pick that off. Out of your mind trying to go at me. And Rice's offense puts up seven. Already looking better than that Army game. First and 10, is this a handoff? Sure is. Sure is. Third and eight, I got a deep blue over here. I feel like they gotta throw this ball, no? Yeah, they do. He's got nothing. He's got nothing! absolutely clamped. That is kind of like the double-edged sword of being a good DB. Like, think about Darrell Revis, right? Darrell Revis, nobody ever threw the ball his way because he was so good. Then why would you ever test him? So technically, if I'm playing the best defense I can, I'm never going to get the ball. It's, just, it's a sad thought. Honestly, I want to lead my team to a national championship. And if I do that off of the backs of tackles and sometimes an interception here and there, I am more than okay with it. First and 10, that's a run. I know UAB's, oh, I don't know shit. Oh, oh, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. <laughs> I'm a generational hater for my teammates, but bro, imagine you could force him to pitch it to me. <laughs> Yo, maybe I played Galaxy Brain defense. That's a big six for the boys. First and 10, middle linebacker. There's the handoff. Oh my God, he just fucking deleted my teammate. Oh, I'm gonna talk so much shit to my teammate on the bus ride back home after that. Oh my God, I'm gonna light his ass up. Second and five. What do you got, fraud? Another handoff? Yeah, maybe this is why I liked UAB as a running back so much. I'm gonna try and bait. Oh, come on, bitch. Fourth and inches. I mean, did I bait? Yeah, I mean, he got six yards, but that's, they're punting this football. So that's good defense. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna go cover six here. I think this is a run though. I'm, dude, I swear to God on first down, they just, oh, oh. I ignored my responsibility for a sack. Yeah, baby. Konnichiwa. Woo. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Come on. Holy shit, dude. I literally completely abandoned my post. Is this the same play, pump fake, right? Throw hat back. I would love, dude, I love if I could just sit in a light blue all game and let him throw check downs to the running back and make my day. Third and 20. I'm manned up on this side, trying to bait it out. Oh, it didn't, damn, how did he fit that in there? I never thought that that was gonna fit. It was so unbelievably t tight, but I guess he just lubed it up enough to get it to fit in there. Good tackle, five wide. Interception again. Interception again. Dude, this is like the biggest game of the season and we are dominating UAB right now. All right, I found my new favorite way to play defense though. Just step way back in man coverage. 
and just kind of let him get open, right? Oh my god, UAB sucks right now. <laughs> dude, this dude can't stop throwing interceptions. I did get the first sack of my career today, though, so there's only so much I can say, you know? I might just fucking blitz again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna abandon my post again. Oh, but this time it's on a handoff, so it, it also was a good time to abandon my post. Dude, we have such a big lead that I really can, I can just blitz if I want. Oh my god, why are you guys running the football? I- Jesus, it worked! What do I know? The fact that I blitzed on that gap and they still scored a touchdown there is just a testament to- to how shit I am. First and ten, they're in turbo. There's a quick throw, big hit inbound, big hit inbound! I want a fumble! I want a fumble so bad. Oh, good hit though. Great hit, second and six. Second and six. There's another handoff to the running back. Another tackle. This was Madden 25 and they were running no huddle, they'd be losing 25 seconds per no huddle. What a hilarious thought that is. Motion over here, oh, it's a jet sweep. Completely bottled up, great defense. Motion's the running back over. Throws down stripe and finds a man. Double edge blitz, first and goal. I think this is a handoff. I'm gonna play linebacker. Sure is. Sure is! Oh my God! Dude, I'm so much better at linebacker than I ever was as a linebacker. Second and goal, this might actually be a pass. It is. I'm okay with something short. Intercepted! Tip drill interception. It comes right after that nasty TFL too. Yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, as a DB, you can't make the quarterback throw your way. So you just gotta find creative ways to, to get involved in the game plan. I like this. I'm enjoying this. First and 10, Blazers go out of bounds. Hey, hey. Oh, slip screen? Shit. How did I get stuck on this block? Second and two, how do we want to do it? Jet sweep, jet sweep, fake jet sweep. Oh my God. T t I tell you what, I know this playbook like the back of my hand. Doesn't matter, because we didn't stop the first down. It's first and 10, probably a pass here. I don't think they'll go inside zone. It is a pass. Where's he looking? I can't see the field like this, bro. Yup, 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 yup! Can we house it? Can we house? Oh, I think I gotta take that the other way. Interception! The way I baited this out was I stepped up towards the quarterback so that he wouldn't recognize me in the zone of that receiver, and then he threw it. It's not often that I've been able to pull that off so far, but that was pulled off flawlessly right there. First and 10, hopefully UAB is in a pass-only offense right now. That's my hope, so that maybe we can get another one. We've got a sack today, a big TFL, and an interception. All we need is a forced fumble, and I'd hit the quadfecta. I'd have the full game. Honestly, my man was so open right there. Motions the running back over. Could check it down to the running back. He doesn't hit... Damn, what's that my... I feel like I'm in a light blue. I don't think that's my zone. But still, it's a nice touchdown, UAB. Rice gets another field goal. Minute 54 left in this game. Let's just keep locking up. I'm actually burnt right now. Oh, and I pancaked him! Let me get in front, Wyatt. Let me get in front! Ah! Dude, I got cooked. My safety bailed me out. That was cover two man, so I did have a safety over top of me the whole time there, but still. UAB comes out on top big. 31 to 17? Shit. Shit. I'm so used to being on UAB. Rice comes out big. 31 to 17. Player of the game is Dean Connors, the 190 yards with the putties. Damn! Damn! The most tackles in the game? goes to Matthew Sky. Dude, I can't tell you how difficult this was as a linebacker. Six solo, three assisted, nine total, two TFLs, a sack, and an interception. That's a full game right there. It's a full game. Oh, by the way, my finals results are in. All A's. Ita de Kimosi. Oh, oh my God. Yo, wait a minute. So the Blazers, maybe they had ECU on the schedule after our game. We're ranked number 22 in the nation after beating UAB. So conference standings. Oh my God, ECU lost 
the final two games of their season, UAB swept. So they did have ECU on the schedule and they beat them. So we get a rematch against UAB for the American Conference. Damn. With five skill points to spend, I'm actually low overall, which I'm not a huge fan of. But the realistic way for me to get this up is zone coverage and hands. So let's use two on zone coverage here. That takes us to an 80 and three on hands. Taking my spectacular catch, carry, catch and driving, catching up, all into the greens, and then zone coverage is now 88. This is the thing I've never understood about these games, though. Does my zone coverage stat matter? I'm usering the player the entire time. So would it matter if I had 50 or 99? Because I'm making every decision in the zone anyway. I don't know. I do wish EA did a better job of explaining to us like, what the purpose of some of these stats are, but... Regardless, I do want a higher overall because a higher overall means I'd be a starter or a depth player on better programs. So I do know I got to get my overall up no matter what. I have no doubt that the UAB Blazers are so excited for this rematch. This is for the American Football Championship. Technically, we can go to the college football playoffs. We probably won't, but technically we can. This could be Matthew Sky's final game. Dude, it's so weird that Rice even has this uniform option. I literally feel like I'm on Ole Miss. I kind of look like the Oilers, too. The Houston Oilers? There's a motion, man. Zone fake jet. Oh, no. It's a fumble, though. Is that our ball? You're so cooked, UAB. You're so cooked. Oh, here we go. I got to say, there's way too many owl teams in college football, though. Like, why is Temple, Rice... Damn, dude, they just run the ball so well. Temple is the owls. Rice is the Owls, Florida Atlantic. What are we doing? First and 10. Is UAB gonna pull out a pass play? Nope. Whenever they do that, it's always a run. The question is, is it a jet sweep or is it a hand? That's all. And dude, they exclusively run no huddle. I wonder if that's why they're so good in sim, because they run no huddle. Or is it just because they're the best team in the American Conference? I don't know. I got a man press assignment here. I low-key locked you the fuck up, but my teammate got dusted. He got dusted twice. He got dusted on the route and the tackle broken. UAB is first to strike. All of a sudden, it's 6-3. to three. And Coach just had us come out and man up three deep. That's a psycho play call. But this is a run. Jet sweep. I dare you. Damn. Tell me why Coach wants to run man up three deep. Second and inches. Let's bait one out. Another handoff coming my way. I forced him inside. I forced him inside. It won't show up on the stat sheet, but I did. Second and nine. I'm camping my cover two here. This is a handoff. Uh-oh, it's not. Throw a hat back. Throw a hat back. Throw a hat back. Yes. Yes. Oh, just a clean free hit stick. You know I love that. Third and four. Still looking for my first forced fumble of my career. And could it be? Coach says bad zone coverage, but coach, I say fourth and four. It's our ball back. UAB with a touchdown. They either missed the PAT, got blocked, or went for two. Regardless, oh my God, this has got to be a handoff. Let's go, boys. Out of their own end zone. Get in there. Somebody get in there. Second and 11. Dude, I'm telling you. Can we do it, boys? Everybody get up there. We know it's another run. Safety! It's five to six. That's an awesome score. Rice! This game looking a lot more defensive than the last one. We put up a touchdown of our own, went for two, and didn't get it. This is a weird game. It's a weird game. First and 10, five wide. Can we bait out that light blue? Oh, we can! Oh! Oh! Great defense! I almost called him Maher. It's not Maher, it's Sky. Come on, three. You don't want this fucking smoke, three. You don't want this smoke. Oh my God, on third and 10, they run the ball. It's still a really close game though. And it's UAB ball almost in the red zone. 12 to six here. It's gotta be handoff. Yep. Oh, but I'm stuck on my block. Way to get off it though. Way to get off it. Second and three. I expect another run. It's not. It's a pass. I've got my zone. Intercepted. Pick six. Pick six. Go 41. Go 41. Play Wyatt, Rice legend, with the pick six. First and 10, manned up. Can I man press? I'm gonna man press for fun. Fuck. Oh, but it's an end around. And I just targeted his head for no reason, but I get a TFL for that. What's the play call? A quick throw. 
I'm out there. Assist the tackle. Light blue, third and 10. You gotta pass this UAB. Oh, they throw right on me? I can't believe I didn't break that up, but still fourth and six. Great defense. Great defense. It is 18 to nine, dude. This game is so weird. I'm gonna go with a blitz here. Looks like a handoff, and it sure is. He's going nowhere. Second and 10. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. UAB's got an audible on this one. Can we bait it out? Come on. Take a shot. Take a shot. No! Not the shot I want you to take. I'm blitzing. I don't fucking care. I'm blitzing. I don't care if this guy's the greatest route of all time. Okay. Remember when I said that I'm blitzing? That was a mistake. And Rice did not score. Now it's 16 to 18. Oh my God, wait a minute. They score a field goal, they win. Oh my God, wait, did I just sell the whole fucking game? I have to make up for it. I have to make up for it, boys. This has to be the best defensive possession of my life. Here we go. I'm gonna bait it. I'm gonna bait it. It's gonna be such a sick play. And we're gonna be fine. Oh, it's wide receiver mid-screen. Oh, yes! Yes, yes! Fourth and five. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We put up a touchdown and missed the PAT again? What are we doing? First and 10. Just keeping it a ball game out here, I guess. Quick throw from UAB gets through. We're going DB blitz, and I can bait out. I'm baiting out the INT. He's gotta throw it to that guy. Look at how open he is. He's gotta throw that. Dude. How is that good man coverage? I am 18 yards off. All right, let's be even more aggressive. Let's sit right here. Now you gotta throw it. Dude, like what's wrong with you? What's wrong, what's wrong with you? Your quarter, dude, your dog is so open. How much worse can I play realistically? Oh my God. He just wants to lose. He literally wants to lose. I'm not even guarding this guy. I'm gonna stand way the fuck over here. I can't even see him. I can't even see him. Somehow you failed that. I'm gonna stand right here. Oh my God. He still, he still, he still doesn't <laughs> I'm standing right here, bro. This is where I'm playing defense from. Oh, it's wide receiver mid screen. But something happened. I don't know what happened. They lost the ball again. Hit him. Hit him! Come on! He finally fucking did it. He finally threw the ball to him. You know what? That's a start. At least. At least he threw the ball to the guy I was covering. You can't ask for much more, but oh my God, you can ask for a stop right here. Two point conversion, it's the biggest play of the game. It's the biggest play of the game. Zone fake jet or, or, or jet sweep. It's the fake! Rice is all over it. The American champions! Honestly, the only reason they scored two touchdowns is because I handed them two touchdowns, but I was desperate for some action. Dude, Dean Connor, player of the game every time. Rice loves to run the football. I might consider Rice for a halfback road to glory with this many handoffs. We we definitely have UAB's number though. Big time. Matthew Scott in the corner. Freshman All-American. Three interceptions, 39 tackles. I never took one to the house though. That is definitely on my radar of things that I want badly. Let's take it one to the house. And we've got the Scooters Coffee Frisco Bowl against Georgia Southern. I've never played in the Scooters Coffee Frisco Bowl, I'll tell you that. We do catch a dub. The game was relatively uneventful, but now we've got a massive, massive decision. This is always my favorite part, finding a team where we can see some success. Now let's talk about this transfer portal. I'm an 80 overall entering my sophomore year. Rice somehow just jumped up to a three and a half star program. I will never understand how this game works. That's absolutely insane. But I really enjoyed corner because it, I mean, does it really matter what team I'm on? I'm always gonna be in. I think Rice's 3-3 defense is not great at stopping the run. It was a bit frustrating getting kind of ran down by Army. Now, teams that are really interested, Minnesota, BYU, Tulsa, Virginia, Rutgers. I definitely want to go to a bigger conference. I don't want to play in the American anymore. We can go to the Big 12, we can go to the Big 10, go to the ACC. Tennessee still interested in us. We can go over to the SEC and play big boy football. Like I'm second string at Oklahoma State but that senior is gonna graduate. I think out of every career mode we've ever done, this is the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. I have no idea which one of these programs I wanna go play for. DB's gonna be hard, but I wanna win a national championship, I wanna be impactful, and I wanna get my stats up, and I'm ready to do it. I think this first season showed us exactly how we need to play, 
the settings we need. I'm excited. Hey, boys, I love you. Let me know where I should transfer. Ni hao.